I think being represented and seeing your culture and history as a region is really important. It's amazing to have that place where you can go and where you can take people to to show them this is what we are about as the North East and this is our culture and history. I remember coming here when I was quite little and then connecting I guess what you learn at school with being able to actually see in real life what that would look like. Walking down the, the main street and going into all the shops, immersed in, in the different experiences. The sweet shop is amazing and I remember when we went in and the, they used to twirl like the bags around like that and give them out and we always used to enjoy going and experiencing that as well. My dad was born in 1954 so we came and being able to see how your grandparents would have lived, how your parents lived when they were growing up in the 50s now as well. It's been amazing to see it develop. There was a kind of recruitment company that were involved in the process of getting the new board in place. And there was an application process and a couple of interviews where I got to meet the CEO and the chair and got to meet some of the, the other applicants. And it was yeah, a really good experience. I work full time outside of this, so I'm able to, to work on the board work as well as you know maintain my normal job. It was good to be able to, to meet the new chair and meet the senior leadership team to kind of get a feel for what they wanted. As soon as we came in, we had the strategy days. We were able to go around the museum together, find out more information about all the different exhibits. So it's been a really good process and I've really enjoyed being part of the board so far. I work with other trustees on the Arts Council subcommittee and we're looking at the work that Beamish is already doing on their three-year plan to create principles with the Arts Council. I'm really looking forward to supporting with anything that we can. I work a lot on equality and diversity inclusion with the community and I'm hoping that I'll be able to support with some of the work that the museum's doing and bringing in different community members. Beamish prides itself on being Museum of the North and it is a really inclusive, safe space and my background is uh, working with refugees and asylum seekers. I studied for about six years at Newcastle and then went on to start an organisation called North East Solidarity and Teaching. We support refugees and asylum seekers. So last year we worked with about 600 people in the North East and we recruit volunteers from Newcastle University so we have about 300 volunteers last year and hopefully I'll be able to bring some support to the, the amazing stuff that Beamish is already doing with the community and, and link my work in that way. We had families from Ukraine who came and saw the mine and were like, yeah, well, we had mines and, you know, this is the, you know, something that's shared. And I work with lots of people who've come from Sudan who were farmers. So for them, they might recognise some aspects of that here. So it's a museum for everybody and the culture of the museum is that everybody's welcome and can feel safe here. That's brilliant and, you know, I'm really excited to be part of that. At the minute, we're looking at developing our strategy for up to 2050 and continue to make Beamish somewhere that the North East and, and the North is really proud of and represents them. We're coming to the opening stages of a lot of the Remaking Beamish projects. So the 1950s era, we've got the cinema opening next year and the toy shop. And we're also working on the Georgian landscape and the self-catered accommodation that will be opening as well. A lot of the time people don't realise the woodland around the museum, you know, that's part of the, the landscape here. So there's opportunities to kind of walk through and feel like immersed in the museum and its landscape. So it should be really exciting. I'm looking forward to going in and seeing as they, as they open. I think the museum will continue to develop and start looking at when we're going to start collecting COVID and hopefully in the future people will be able to come and see parts of their history or their parents' history represented here as well and the museum will continue to, to develop um, in that way.